I was working on this Chrome extension uh, yesterday and uh, it got published to Chrome Web Store. So you can either download it directly from there or I will also share this uh, uh, link in the comment or the description of this video. So what it does is whenever we are asking some prompt to chat GPT and it returns an HTML, then on clicking on this extension, it will show you or it will uh, uh, just inject that HTML into this extension and you will be able to see the render of that. So whatever code that HTML, uh, that chat GPT is sharing that you can directly see as well as edit. So first let me show you how it works. Then I will show you the code and uh, how it can be installed directly from the source instead of the web store. So first is let me uh, ask some queries like create an earth using HTML and CSS only keep both in same file. So I need a single file HTML that contains the entire code for creating it. So let me pause for a while while the response comes. Okay, so it looks like yeah, we have the response now. HTML is prepared. So we just have to click this extension. I had earlier installed it, so it was available here, and then from here I can do uh, hide or show in, in the toolbar. That's why it is showing up here. So I can click on it and see it is showing the code as well as the render. So this is what ChatGPT had generated. Okay, uh, I will ask it to recreate it. So let's see. Create it differently. This typo, but still it will understand. Okay, so this response has also come. Let me click on this now. So this is the second uh, code, uh, how it renders. And notice this code that it extracted from the ChatGPT response, it is editable. So we can change some values and immediately its values will be reflecting. I mean, the changes will be reflecting here. So you can experiment by changing things here to see how it works. And uh, uh, it right now you notice that it was just the last response. This drop down will let you choose uh, the previous codes also. So like as you can see, code one, code two, it will be in reverse order. So whatever is the latest will be showing up here, and it will be in the top in the drop down. So if I go to the second one, I can see this was the older implementation. Like that, I can switch. So if I uh, do one more thing, same prompt I will ask to create something other. Create a car, the dog. This is a bit bigger and a lot of things and details it is creating dog eye, dog left, right, nose, all the things still printing. Okay, so it's ready. So let me click on it again. And this is how it created a dog and a car. Same thing here also you can change the values to see what all it is changing. You can change the color or any other values. Like that. And not just uh, these CSS stuffs, you can even ask some questions like to create a job application form using HTML and CSS. Okay, it's done so now I can click on it so this is a form uh, somewhat 
that is uh, uh, distorted the reason could be because this extension is also having some css i have some css effects applied on table so maybe it's using a table and uh, i have given some certain width so maybe that is affecting it but yeah these others are fine you can try to try this same code in a new file there you'll be able to see the actual things but yeah for graphics related things it's uh, very helpful you can directly visualize here without the need of creating uh, this file again and even the edit is allowed so you can make changes directly from here and uh, anything else let me think Okay, so this has also come if I click on this this is the website it created product one or dummy image that it created it looks like it's very simple just a big and a small rectangles it created we still have our older codes available from the same conversation okay so yeah next i will show you how the same and uh, same extension you can load to your browser using the code so uh, it's in my git repo i will share this link in the description here i have other extensions also but you have to particularly use this html code visualizer one so you have to clone this repo then go to this directory and uh, these files you'll be importing so how you can do that you can go to extensions in your browser then manage extensions you need to make sure dev mode is on and then you can do a load unpacked and then go to the directory and it will load directly from the code that way you can do some modifications and check regarding the logic uh, how it is doing is it is checking this code cell uh, the selector where these HTMLs are there and uh, if you do an inspect for the chat GPT conversations let me point it to that field So if I expand this div, you can see that it's a code element. The tag name is code under which the HTML is wrapped and inside that there are lots of span in which the code is present. So what I'm doing is taking this code and this class language hyphen HTML. So code dot language hyphen HTML is our selector for getting this part and all those I'm using to create the UI of the extension. You can see in my script.js or in this script to run on the tab this file i'm doing a query selector all code.language.html i have also added an option to do a query selector all with uh, a new selector that we can create in the session history so for example if you want to try the same extension in another chat uh, uh, chatbots like meta or something then in the, those cases if you find some selector you can create a session store is named new selector and you'll be able to do the same thing there also but uh, yeah one more thing i wanted to show is uh, that i have added one experimental feature also that is how it works is uh, when this extension load it creates an experimental feature and setting its value to false you can set it true and after that if you try to click this extension what it will do it will replace all the code within the chat gpt window also and from here only you will be able to see all these values uh, all these uh, uh, things injected here so in the code section you can see whatever uh, responses that chat created he replaced it with the actual uh, injected code so this is uh, experimental because as you can see the css got applied in the whole page and the chat window uh, chat gpt ui got broken it's uh, unreadable now so yeah this is ex that's why i have kept it experimental you can turn it off again by setting its value to false so yeah that's it for this video i will share the details in the description the chat uh, the repo link as well as the uh, this extension link so yeah that's it for this video thanks